Hi. Can you tell me your name and address, please? Uh. Um. That's fine. Please, can I order a pint of black sheep? Yeah, I'll grab it. Excellent, thank you. Met him when I first came to uni, um, and then I've known him ever since. He was the first person I met, um, and his stammer was, he, it took him about two or three minutes to get his words out, to get his, just to get his, just to say his name. Um, like, I've never experienced it before. It's, it's like, his whole body would tense up, and he'd like, turn off to the side, and his face, it'd like, his muscles would all contract in his face, and you could see how much pressure he was under to speak. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I've never experienced a stammer before, but I can I can probably say it's, after hearing about the Maguire program and seeing other videos of other stammerers, it's probably the worst one I've seen. Um. Uh. Own a so I st started to st stammer around the age of four. Not sure why it started, but I got stuck on a word or I got stuck on a sound at a very young age, and then it just went on from there. It was a sort of it was a snowball effect where you don't know how to control it. So yeah, I was around four and then from there, school, work, university was quite hard and I had to develop ways of avoiding sounds and avoiding talking to people and swapping words and you using tricks to get words out. He's made what can be best described as steady progress. He credits this steady progress to the Maguire program for his speech development. The same course, by the way, that helped the pop star Gareth Gates and also educating Yorkshire student Musharraf. As I say, I've got all these bad experiences of growing up with a stammer and how I was different to everyone else and I suppose I, yeah, I suppose I just tried to get, f to get through on a day-to-day -day basis. It was a big, a big, it was a big lie. It was a, a big act to cover up who I really, yeah. who I really was. And I didn't, th I didn't think I, I could express who I really was. Um, I would say it's turned us into the person I am today. It, it does go to show anything you want, you have to work for it. You aren't going to get anything in life f for free. Some people say they want a fast car, a big house and a nice job to start a family. And for me, all that I ever wanted to do was to be able to speak. I know coming in here and sitting in front of a microphone is a pretty daunting task, but it's one that James Tennant, who lives here in West Yorkshire, is prepared to do. And he's here right now. How are you? James Tennant, I'm very well. Thank you for having me on the show. He's changed massively, dramatically. And, you know, he, he seems loads more 
just he just seems better in himself. If I would like to thank every single coach who has helped me to find my voice. Thank you very much, James Tennant. <laughs> Thank you.